welcome back so I had to do this video because this is a, a add-on to the award video that I did last week all right uh, yeah that was the one I was late man you don't gotta tell me so I wanted to break it down um, I did 10 sales so that's uh, home sales whether it be a listing or a buyer and then these are the 10 sales I wanted to break it down by commission and then also break it down by um, how much the house uh, valued at or sold at so that you could see you know what was given out of each one of those the typical um, commission that's given and this is in Arizona or Phoenix Arizona however you want to look at it the typical commission is three percent and not all of these are going to be three percent so you got to realize um, some of the deals are going to come in a little bit different that's why I want to come in here and break it down for you to show you the work that I put into it to show you the payment that comes from the work that you did and then uh, give you a good value of what you're actually going to take home. So for those of you that are new, uh, my name is Daryl Coleman. I'm out of the Goodyear office here in Arizona. Um, I've been doing real estate three years in July, so about two and a half years now. Um, I do it part time. So all of you that are looking at doing it part time, it's possible. I will take some time um, and patience and you're going to have to work a lot harder than most people. But this is proof that I'm doing it and I enjoy what I do. So I wanted to bring you this breakdown um, just to get you the best understanding as possible. It can happen for you. It's happened for me. If you want to continue in the business, it's super fun. You'll really get rewarded in the end. If you don't want to continue, then maybe it's not for you and that's okay. All right. But I want you to make a good decision uh, based on what's best for you and not what works for me or what works for somebody else. All right. So let's go ahead and break this down. So the first sale <clears throat> and these aren't in order. So these aren't in order by what sales I did. But the first commission, this whole side um, on the left column is actually the commissions that I made. So the commission is fifty two fifty five and twenty five cents. And then the home sales are all on the right column. And then that is two forty five. So I got three percent out of that. Um, I believe I did. I don't know. I'd have to calculate it actually now. But this is the check I got out of it uh, ultimately because your broker still has to take their percentage. I was on a 70 30 split when I began. Um, each brokerage is going to be different. And there's plenty of them out there that do 100%. There's plenty of them that do it. Uh, 90 10 split you know it just whatever you want that's a comfort zone for you that's what you're gonna do I chose this split is good for me because I only want to do this part-time I didn't plan to do full-time like a lot of the brokerages are uh, they demanded me to do full-time and that's not something I was able to do so <clears throat> this works for me a five thousand uh, dollar check is gonna do me well this is about two two and a quarter months of work for me and I get paid fairly decent. So the second one, this is a uh, 325. Now this deal was actually a good friend of mine. So been friends with them for about 20 years and we, me and the other realtor actually had to put in a little extra um, of our commission. So we only got 2% on the deal. That's why you see this one a lot lower than this one up here. So you can see the sale was 245. You got 5200. This one was 325. It should have been a lot more, but like I said, I put in 1% for the client to be able to close and uh, do some of the repairs. The other realtor did the same thing, so we walked away uh, still pretty decent. Four thousand dollar check is really good. Um, this one is 425 862. You see now this is a full three percent. So these ones. Um, on this new build this was a new build they actually pay you on the amount that was adjusted by the client so the add-ins and all the other other uh good stuff in there so that's not typical okay they usually pay you on a base price so i got paid uh 78 24 and 39 cents on that one so with my brokerage the way it goes is the more money you make the less you have to put into the pot so the split starts to change so what you want to reach is your commission. Uh, it needs to be, I think, 
in the hundred thousands or something like that but they want you to be able to sell more so that you give less commission and then now you you pocket more money and then once you hit your year mark then that actually rolls over to the next year and you start that way again so however you end your year is how you're going to start the next year okay so that's a good thing if you're doing it full time and you're pushing 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 making good money it's not a good thing if you're doing it part time and you don't want to get out here and try to make some money it's actually going to hurt you a little bit but i did a great year so you can look at all of these figures is pretty good year you can see the difference between this 325 and making 4,000 commission and this 348 and making 7,000 commission you could tell it should have been a lot higher but <clears throat> like i said i chipped in um, sometimes you just need to do what you need to do to get the deal done you're either going to get no deal at all so i could have just not taken this and just say screw you it's not happening i'm not giving you one percent they probably still would have wanted to purchase the home i just wouldn't have got the deal and i know there's a lot of bylaws in there they can't get that same home but they're going to purchase a home in that that same arena of, of 300 thousand and up so these 10 deals are what i was able to do um, in a part-time position so this is what got me on the board for last week what i was telling you about the awards they got me on the board and the reason why is because of this bad boy here okay so let's look at this 2.7 million is what i what i sold if you just add these up and then i had some rentals and stuff in there too i think i had three rentals but i didn't i didn't put that in there um so it is slightly higher than what these numbers are but two million seven hundred and fifteen uh 742 is what i i sold for the year meaning that's how much all of this added up including my rentals and things like that um and my commission based on this right here alone i should be making fifty four thousand three hundred and eighty six dollars and forty seven cents now i did make slightly more than that um actually let me see hold on okay i had to grab a paper so i made fifty four thousand seven hundred and twenty five not too far from here only because i had a hundred and seventy eight dollar and seventy five cent rental uh, um another rental for 160 so i only did two rentals everything else was like a, a commission change in there so there was some smaller checks in here, but I just added the two checks together to get these. So out of 2.7 million sold, 54,000, uh, I almost said million, I wish, 54,000 is what I got. So this line right here, hmm, if you subtract 3% from this 2.7, you actually get 81,000. You don't get that okay there's fees there's uh transaction fees there's uh sometimes i do the uh broker uh administrative commission like it's like a 295 fee that's charged for the transaction and i'll pay that sometimes for the client just to give them a little peace of mind of hey let me participate in this transaction with you let me take care of that as a gift okay but eighty one thousand and I only got 54. Now, mind you, as a realtor, you need to remember you still have to pay taxes. So as I did a rough estimate on my taxes, I owe $12,000 from this. So now you need to slash this down and I'm about 42,000 in, in for the year. So it's still a decent year as a part-time uh, realtor. It got me on the board for the awards. I'm actually going to another award deal um, at the end of, I think next month of, in, in April. So that would be a good little deal. It's something to look forward to, something to, to be excited about. But these are the real numbers. I'm not going to fluff you. Uh, it was really hard to get these deals in and to make this commission. And then now I have to pay a lot in taxes. But it gives you the realization of you don't pay taxes throughout the year. So remember to save some money. Remember to put that aside and don't go spending it because it's going to come up and Uncle Sam's going to come knocking on the door needing their money. So if this is a business that you want to do, uh, get into the bottom 
uh, in the comments and actually ask some questions, man, whether it be to me, whether it be to somebody else, find a mentor at a brokerage, find a friend or family member that's doing real estate, follow them on social media, see what's going on to see if it's really for you. If you're going into it just because you make money, this may not be the business for you. The success rate is very, very, very low. Um, I just heard today that most people finish school, do all their little things, and don't even do one transaction. It's about 70% of the people that complete school don't do one transaction. They drop out. So it's not for everybody. Make sure this is something you enjoy and make sure it's something that you can do in order to fulfill other people's dreams. All right. And I appreciate you guys listening all the way to this point. If you made it to this point, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, Or in the bottom comments, put Shamrock to let me know you made it to the end. As always, man, I love you guys. Continue to do what you do. Any motivation I can bring to you, man, I love it. If you can bring motivation to me, that's even better, man. Hey, peace out.